Shalom, Yashallah, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of Yashallah. All praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Yahweh Kakadash, for blessing our elders with the Spirit of Truth, so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwathim that's keeping the faith in the works. Y'all keep at it. It's your brother Abaya coming at you with more precepts. More precepts, man. <clears throat> so, um, I was watching this video a brother put up um, in a certain camp. And it was basically speaking about um, uh, the Bill Gates video that he he uh it was like a presentation he was giving to um his higher ups explaining um a certain um method that they used in order to find basically the the god gene or the spirit inside the human body and the place where they pointed uh, to was the pineal gland, uh, which is, you know, some people call it the third eye, right? Um, like I said, if you, you can go back and, and, and check my videos too, you know what I'm saying? I made one um, speaking on the same, um, the same, um, uh, Bill Gates video, right? Pardon me, I'm trying to find the words. But, um, in said video, you know, um, like I said, Bill Gates claims to have found the spirit and have found a way to eradicate that portion of the brain so as to lose your connection to the father. Like, the whole point of the experiments was specifically for that. Right? Um, but how the brother broke it down in the video, man, it was so beautiful, bro. Like, I had an aha moment. You know, when you when you first heard the truth, you had an aha moment. And every time you learn something, uh, from that point forward, it was like, aha, there it is. Like, oh, okay, yeah, like, clarity. Right? So, Salakia. Um, this is the definition, according to Webster, of the pineal or the pineal Salakia gland. All right? It says, of relating to or, or Salakia. Esau. I said it says of relating to or secreted by the pineal gland, right? First known use 1681 in the meaning defined above. So the first time the pineal gland, or well, that word pineal was um, was given to a, a certain body part was in 1681. Before that, it meant something else, right? So now I want to take you to the before that. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go in the blue letter and take you to the before that, man. Alright, so 1681 Pineal is given to a certain portion of your body, a certain portion of your brain. All right. Matter of fact, before I go into the blue letter, before I go into the blue letter, rather, let's go here. So I looked it up on, on Google. Pineal. It says a pea-sized conical mass of tissue behind the third ventricle of the brain, secreting a hormone-like substance in some mammals. Right? You know how 
it gives you questions, different questions that different people have asked. If you look at something up on Google, it'll give you different aspects of the same question that you ask in Google to find out. And one of the questions was, why pineal gland is known as the third eye? So why is the pineal gland known as the third eye? It says the pineal gland was once dubbed the third eye, which originated for many reasons, ranging from its location deep in the center of the brain, right, so right there, um, above your eyes, but in the middle, right, the middle of your forehead, all right, it says, ranging from its location deep in the center of the brain to its connection to light, all right? So that portion of your brain that they call pineal is connected to light. All right? I also asked it, what stimulates pineal gland? Or it also asked, what stimulates pineal gland? And it says the primary function of the pineal gland is to produce melatonin. It says melatonin has, or melanin, right? So it says melatonin has various functions in the central nervous system, right? It says the most important of which is to help modulate sleep patterns, right? But check this out. It says melatonin production is stimulated by darkness and inhibited by light, right? So when your melatonin or when your pineal gland, rather, is introduced more so to darkness, it, it, it brings about sleep to your body. But when light hits that portion of your body that they call the pineal gland, it disrupts that sleep, meaning it wakes you up. All right? Now let's go to the blue level. Remember now, Pineal gland in 1681, right? That's the first time it got introduced as a organ in your body. The function of this thing is to produce melatonin or melanin, right? Melatonin produces sleep when it, when your pineal gland is introduced to darkness, but light disrupts that, meaning it wakes you up. Right. So Slocky. Blue letter tripping. All right. How's your time trying to trying to do work? Can't be stopped though. The truth gonna come out. All right. These prophecies gonna unfold, Esau. Straight like that. It is what it is. Deal with it. All right. So, Genesis 32 and 30. Okay, it says, and Jacob called the name of the place Pineo, or Pineo, for I have seen power face to face, and my life is preserved. All right, so Jacob called the name of the place, matter of fact, let's see what it says. H 6439 Penu Ail Penu Ail Gesenius Lexicon Penu Ail Penu Ail Second Entry Penny Ail Penny Ail Penny Ail So Penu Ail and Penny Ail Right Pineal Right Pineal gland is what we're speaking of Right but this place, right, where Jacob wrestled with the angel and got his name changed to Israel, he named Penael, 
Why? Because he faced power. He saw power. All right? That pineal gland, man. That's the source of your strength. For this body that you have. That's the entry point. Your pineal gland or pineal gland, right? So lock it. So let's go to some more precepts, man, to dig deeper into this. Because they called the pineal gland, another term for it was the third eye, right? The third eye. Let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 6. And verse 22. All right. It says, The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. You're going to be awake. Nobody going to move. It's going to be alive. It says, but if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? Right? So if that eye of yours is surrounded by darkness, then you definitely going to be sleep, And in your slumber, you're going to be wicked as the whole hell. Because you're not going to be able to see what you're rightfully supposed to be doing. You're not going to be able to see these words and see these prophecies or hear these prophecies, right? If you have an ear to hear or an eye to see. Right? The pineal gland, the pineal gland, they call it the third eye. We just read a characteristic or uh, uh, two major characteristics of the pineal gland. Darkness stimulates melatonin, which puts you to sleep. But light disrupts that, meaning it wakes you up. Right? That darkness. It can't understand light as much as it wants to because some of these dark eyes really feel that they're doing good, right? They do it for the kids, right? Or they do it because their granny then told them so forth, so on, so on, and so on. But at the end of the day, it's dark. This is the book of John, chapter 1, verse 5. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. It can't understand light because it's too occupied in darkness. Right, we still on this pineal gland, man. We digging into understanding, like literal understanding. Like what allows your body to connect to the spirit that blesses you with understanding, knowledge, wisdom, love, righteous hate. Right? Righteousness is to hate the evil, but love the good. All right, let's go further, man. It's the book of First Thessalonians. Let's see. Five and five. 
It says, ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. We are awake. We are not asleep. Right? Verse 6, therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. That pineal gland, man, when it's surrounded by darkness, it sleeps. It brings about melatonin, which puts you to sleep. But when light hit it, it's, it disrupts that slumber and awakes you. Right? Verse 7. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. Right? We don't operate at night, at, at night, right? If you have an eye to see and an ear to hear. We operate in the day because we're children of light. Right? Those that operate at night are drunkards. Right? Excessive winos. If you will. Let's go further into this though. This is the book of Revelation chapter 17 and verse 1. It says, And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither. I will shew unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. The kings of the earth have committed fornication with this great whore that operates in darkness, man. Right? Because she's evil and can't understand righteousness, which is light. Right? But the kings of the earth love being with this woman. Let's go further. Let's see. It's the book of First Peter. Uh, let's see, chapter two, and verse nine. It says, "But ye are a chosen generation." A royal priesthood and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. All right? Which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of power which had not obtained mercy but now have obtained mercy. Who are these kings that weren't the people but now are? All right? Who are these people? Romans 9, man. We still, we still on this pineal gland, bro. We still on this pineal gland. The children of light, not the children of darkness. Light and dark. We don't understand it, man. How can you talk about the pineal gland and not go, and not go into understanding and wisdom? Right? They go hand in hand. Right? 
Romans 9. Uh, let me see. Yeah, Romans 9 and 24. All right, Romans 9, 24. Even us whom he hath called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. All right. As he saith also in O.C. Who is O.C.? Because he's about to quote this person, O.C., as it pertains to Jews or Gentiles. That O.C. is Greek for Hosea. But let's see what he's quoting from Hosea. It says, I will call them my people, which were not my people, and her beloved, which was not beloved. All right? What we just read in 1 Peter. Like you. It says First Peter nine and ten, uh, First Peter two and ten, rather, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of power, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Romans nine twenty five, as he saith also in Hosea, I will call them my people, which were not my people, and her beloved, which was not beloved. Verse 26, And it shall come to pass, that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living God. Where did he find that? In Hosea, which is a Hosea. So let's go to Hosea. Chapter 1 and verse 7. Matter of fact, verse 8. Now, when she had weaned Loru Hama, she conceived and bare a son. Then said, Power, call his name Lo Ami, for ye are not my people, and I will not be your God. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living God. Israel, 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 right? So, the children of light, Israel. Going back to this video that was introduced in 2005, speaking about a Edomite, Finding out that the pineal gland is your spiritual source of your body. That's where it, that's your connection. Right? He's pinpointed it, and guess what he put it in to eradicate that? A quote unquote vax, bro. Yeah, a vax. Check my video, man. Just go back. It's called The Mark of the Beast Exposed Yet Again. Stay faithful in truth, Israel. Check that out, man. And like I said, another brother brought out another video that was powerful in it and, 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 and blessed me with an aha moment. All praise to the Most High. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Yahweh This damn devil man is trying to put a mark on you that is going to eradicate you because he's trying to disconnect you from your heritage. He's trying to disconnect you from your blessing because he hates you have the blessing. So you got a choice to make. Either you're going to allow this devil to take the most high away from you, or you're going to stand for something, man. 
Our people love to say, well, nah, that couldn't have been me back in the day, man. They did this, that, and third. It couldn't have been. Okay, let's see. I hear you talking, but that's just talk. Let's see, man, because they about to get real ill out here. Let's get to the point of it all. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Are you going to sell your soul? Or are you going to stand bold? One more verse, most I willing. Maybe one, maybe two. And most I willing, I'm going to close this out. This is important to know. This Revelation 14. Matter, uh, I'm trying to see if I want to go 14 or 19. I go 14. So Revelation 14 and I start at 8. It says, and there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast. Right. So right now, as we speak, if you're watching this video, right. If you're worshiping the beast, that means you. You're doing everything that this society wants you to do. You are an upstanding Christian. Or you use a thug. Or you use a dope boy. Or you use a whoremonger. Whatever it is that you do that this place says is okay for you to do. And you know it's wrong according to this book. You're worshiping the beast right now. So when you see them brothers on the highways and byways and they bringing out the laws and statutes and commandments and you laugh and keep it moving, okay, you worshiping something right, right then because you turning your ear and your eye away from the words of the Most High. So if you're doing that, you're worshiping something because you have to worship something even if it's yourself. Facts, right? Verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of power, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. You take the mark, man. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Salvation is done. You might as well put, don't even worry about the Holy Bible no more. Go do what you do. Don't even worry about that no more. Don't even worry about whatever your morality is. Let it go. Go ahead. Do whatever it is you want to do in life. Because it's a wrap. So with that being said, one more verse, man. Most I will. One more verse. Romans 13, 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believed. Wake up. Let that light shine on you, man. All right? 
all praise to the Most High. Call Halayim Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Harakakadash. Most High willing you were edified by this video and these precepts. Shalom.